Mabuhay passion fans! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G, how are you all doing? So who here watched the interview challenge last Saturday night? The last online challenge of Miss Universe Philippines before its top 30 reveal next week. Just like all of you, I did. For those of you who are following my Instagram account, you know already the girls who really impressed me in this round. So this content is all about ranking them in my taste. To be honest guys, it's really hard to rank all of them as I feel all of them rose to the occasion in this round. And dami nilang makukudat pala dito this year. Even the girls whom I haven't been noticing, all of them aced it in this round. So since they did also well this round i might i might just rank them according to how they registered and created an impact on me as a viewer so here we go Before I start, I would like to commend how the organization decided to throw in the same set of questions to level the playing field this time around so we pageant fans can finally judge them uniformly unlike last year wherein they threw different sets of questions to different girls but I hope dumating din yung panahon na we could finally see these girls doing this in one uniform setting so as we would no longer be hampered by the girls internet connectivity, or even poor lighting. Kasi guys, for me, when you do these types of challenges, the more impact a girl creates visually, the more it adds up to her overall presentation. So, if you don't see some of your favorites here in my list, that means these things may have contributed to their low scores for me, apart from their underwhelming answers. So here's my top picks. At number 12 is Sashi Kiesa from Lapu Lapu City. Am I the only one who is noticing her here in Miss Universe Philippines? This girl is the complete package talaga. A possible dark horse in this competition. And what makes me say this now is because of her great communication skills. When you watch her here, she is so natural and unrehearsed. And the tone of her voice is something very easy and pleasing to the ears. Ang sarap niya talagang pakinggan. Very radio friendly. And I hope pageant fans will now pay more attention about this girl after her great performance here. And now we go to my 11th spot and I'm giving it to Dorothy Gemilan from Iloilo City. This woman is really growing on me. You could see that Dorothy has depth and substance when she speaks with her well-modulated voice, eloquence, and confidence. Not only that, she also puts her charm in her delivery by smiling all throughout. Napansin nyo? And I really like that. You can see that she has a pleasing personality. But more than that, I like how she was able to marry her two different backgrounds in art designing and nursing to give her a more unique or interesting background. That oil and water analogy just never gets old to me. And I especially like her answer in the qualities of the leader that she's looking for as she answered someone who propagates prosperity and humility as I think it was a very unique as it easily stands out among the rest. And now we go to my 10th spot and I'm giving it to Johnny Nichi Osenia or Senya from Davao del Norte. This girl was such a pleasant surprise in this round. She was just very charming here. Johnny also impressed me so much with her clear voice and calm demeanor here. It's like she was just having a conversation with Sir Voltaire except that the laptop camera was on. Diba? It was just very light and easy to listen to as well. Ang light and choice of words, hindi masyadong pa-impress. It really didn't feel like an interview as you, as you could feel that she was just clearly enjoying her time there. You couldn't sense any nervousness or awkwardness from her in this round. She was just being herself here. So, good job, Miss Davao del Norte. And now we go to my ninth spot and I'm giving it to Nika Bernardo from Bulacan Province. Hands down, this girl is really a killer in the talk department. Mabilis, mag-isip at sumagot. Parang si Rabia Mateo, di ba? Very precise. You can see that this lovely Bulakenya is one articulate lady as she answers all her questions here. And what I love about her here is that she was able to show her depth as a candidate by sharing some of the painful things 
that she went through this pandemic and how it changed her to become a better person. If I may have to nitpick, to nitpick lang, I hope she tries to slow down a bit when she answers so we could fully digest and feel the impact of her answers to make her more a charismatic speaker. Number 8 on my list is Nicole Mendiola from Northern Sarmar. She is a new girl in my list. And for someone who is a newbie in pageantry, this woman really performed exceptionally well in this round as she was able to pique my interest with her great communication skills. It's actually my first time to notice her and I'm glad that she was able to have her moment here in this competition. I feel she has one of the most beautiful faces in the competition and you will even fall in love with her more with her charm and sincerity in answering her questions here as evidence in this video. Nakita nyo naman, she really speaks well and, you know, and has enunciated words na very clear. If she won't win MUP on April 30, I see this girl working as a communications director or a spokesperson for any PR firm. And now we go to my seventh spot and I'm giving it to Chantal Schmidt from Cebu City. Ah, Chantal, I think you just made me fall in love with you even more with your turn here. And I think everyone feels the same way about you right now. When this girl speaks, you will just be easily captivated with her profound thoughts and eloquence. She is really so mature for a 20-year-old woman, especially when she talks about her fashion empire dream while adhering to the ideals of our labor system. And I also love the fact that she still has the presence of mind to look at everyone in the virtual chat room as evidenced by her side glances in between, which we all had thought to be a distraction. She really has the makings of a great public speaker. I really see this girl doing TED Talk someday. And now we go to my sixth spot and I'm giving it to Celeste Cortesi from Pasay City. Can I just put this in record? I really give full credit to this girl for, for improving so much in her communication skills here in MUP. Her Celeste's turn here definitely quashes all our apprehensions that she is just a fluke in this department with her very sincere and heartfelt answers in this challenge. She is just so relatable and authentic with all her answers and you can't help but root for her to do well in this competition talaga. Because every time she speaks, I'm like, go, 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 Celeste, you can do it. And she always succeeds by making us smile with her answers all the time. Ganun ang impact niya sa akin. And I just like that all her answers are not put put on, tagos talaga sa puso and for sure even if she will be asked a hard hitting current event topic, she will still be able to break it down in her most simplistic and no frills type of answering how effortless Celeste is on the beauty department is also the same thing when she speaks no pretenses, just straight from the heart I just couldn't get enough. And now we go to my top 5 and number 5 on my list is Michelle D from Makati City. Damn! This woman is unstoppable! I just couldn't get enough of Michelle's turn here in this interview challenge as well. Just when you thought that she only has her Miss World credentials and celebrity status to brag about, my gosh! She has done so many things during this time of the pandemic that we haven't been aware of. Ito talaga ang maganda kay Michelle, guys. Napansin ko, tatahi-tahimik pero ang daming ginagawa pala behind the scenes that you that it will that just will make us shock. I didn't know that she is already a budding entrepreneur as she sets her up, she sets her own NFT tech-based company in the near future while taking up online courses from Harvard Business School. I am really amazed and stunned. Pump pang Miss Universe profiling ang posturahan talaga niya ngayon but more than that, it's Michelle's class calmness and poise that brings her communication skills to the next level she's very queenly and diplomatic with her answers here and it was very evident here all her answers were definitely spot on and aspirational especially with her men mentality answer about the most uniquely beautiful thing about her city and servant type of leader who would do the work and not the other way around you can really see that 
dito talaga her head-to-head challenge win in her previous international pageant was no fluke. Michelle is really ready to win this whole thing on April 3rd. And now we go to my top 4 and number 4 on my list is Annabelle McDonald from Miss Samis Oriental. This girl is definitely the girl to watch out for in Miss Universe Philippines this year. She really has depth and substance and it was very evident here. One look at her turn here and you could say that she has the makings of a great Miss Universe Philippines winner. Greatly styled while articulating her and the organization's numerous causes at the same time. And just like Chantal, this girl is very profound and poetic with her choice of words. Opening answer pa lang niya, at the age of 15, I became a lawyer to find to fight for my rights as a child. Wow. Sino pwede makapagsabi ng ganong statement? That is one interesting statement to make that would easily pique your interest as she went on and on with her answer. And you can see that she is very articulate in expounding her answers. And I also like her answer in her tourist spot question because she was also able to go deep by injecting her advocacy of cultural preservation which completely stunned me. Iba talaga ang kutob ko dito kay Annabelle. She is really on an upward trajectory here in Miss Universe Philippines. And now we go to my top three. And no surprise, Vanessa Caro from Iloilo Province takes this spot. I just absolutely adore this woman in this round. This girl is just brimming with so much power and conviction in all her answers and left me floored by her eloquence and depth as a speaker. She really strikes you as someone who is very intelligent and knowledgeable in in-depth matters which makes you feel she will do well with hard-hitting questions in the pageant's Q&A format. Also, napansin ko, there were so many interesting things we learned from her but the most significant one that struck me is showing her heart in connecting with her roots given her multicultural background. Apart from that, what also makes her a clear standout here is the impressive technicalities that she employed here. She had a well-modulated voice, eloquence, clear enunciation of words and diction. Wag lang talagang pahawakin ng mic tong si, si Vanessa Caro sa finals and it could really be game over. And now we go to my top two and runner up on my list is, no surprise again, Pauline Amelix from Bohol. As expected, Pauline definitely nailed this round. You could see that Pauline was just so natural and effortless here. You could see that this was clearly her alley as she was just chill in laying down her answers. The reason why she ranks up high so high in my list is because of her ability to make this interview very light despite the serious nature of questions thrown at her. I especially like how she gave that chocolate analogy during her introduction which gave us a peek into her personality. May pagka-goofy rin pala tong si Pauline which we haven't seen since her pageant journey began. And it's these little refreshing things that make her all the more relatable. And you can see her here that when Pauline answers questions, it's very organic. Not pageant patty, not rehearsed. And that adds up to her mystique as a contestant. That when it comes to Q&A, she could be that spokesperson the organization is looking for. She is just so eloquent and relatable. Qualities of a Miss Universe winner nowadays and finally the girl who has the best interview in this challenge is Joya Sobie from Albay is anyone here contesting Joya's spot here in this round I mean as everyone had expected it this girl completely blew the socks off everyone with her heartfelt answers her power talaga really lies in her communication skills she just kills it every time especially with her deep reservoir of power answer na in the end which i really liken to her current pageant journey she is just so spontaneous and answers her questions with full of eloquence and substance there is no longer anything to expound on this guys i'll be surprised if this girl doesn't win this round or even to be part or at least to be part of the top three so there you go guys what do you think about my top picks for this round does it match yours feel free to share your opinion down below so i could take a look into it as well thank you so much for the time 
in watching this video. If you like this content, don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe button. Alright guys, see you on my next video. Bye!